Hello and welcome to the Central Florida Consor Consortium of Private School Counselors College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. Each will have six minutes to share more about their institution, but will be around for the entire session to answer questions. My name is Jenny and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Central Florida. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Okay, let me just share my screen. Okay, good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Kennedy, Assistant Director of Admissions at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. Uh, so today I'm gonna give you a very quick six minute overview of who we are. So first I'm gonna show you guys some pictures. Here we have the Space Shuttle Discovery, the Pentagon, a commercial airplane, the International Space Station and SpaceX's Inspiration4, which made history for being the first civilian crew to go into space. What all of these have in common is on each of them is or was a graduate from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. So here you can see where our campuses are located. Uh, we have our campus over in Daytona Beach, which is where I work. We have a campus in Prescott, Arizona, and we also have our online slash worldwide campus. I love this map uh, because this is actually a map of the best college for employment in each state. So in both states that we have a physical location, we are the best college for employment, which is pretty good news for you. So we offer degrees in seven main degree areas, applied science, aviation, business, computers and technology, engineering, security, intelligence and safety, and space. So to give you a little bit of a feel for uh, what that translates to and what kind of degrees we offer, here are some of our most popular degree programs. Aerospace engineering. Uh, we've been a top program for aerospace engineering for the last 17 years. Aeronautical science. This would be if you're interested in becoming a pilot, this is our flight program. So that's a traditional four-year degree plus flight training. Mechanical engineering. So maybe you're seeing a theme here. We have several other uh, engineering programs to offer as well. And in mechanical engineering, you can choose from a robotics track, high performance vehicles, energy systems, and a biomedical track. Global security and intelligence studies and homeland security. So this is under that security, intelligence, and safety category. And we do have students who choose to go to these majors that go off to those three letter agencies like the FBI, CIA, and NSA. Aviation maintenance science, unmanned aircraft system science, so all things uh, drones and um, remote piloting, aviation business administration, and we have regular business administration as well, air traffic management, which is what you would choose if you wanted to become an air traffic controller, and aerospace physiology, which is the first and only of its kind in the country, and that is a pre-med program looking at how uh, long, a long time in space affects the human body. Very important as we try to send people on longer space missions. The great thing about us is no matter what you choose, you're going to get industry tested faculty. None of our classes are taught by TAs. All of our professors have experience in the industries related to the uh, classes that they're teaching. We also have small class sizes. Our average class size in Daytona is 27 and in Prescott, it is 24, even online it's 19. Uh, so what this means is you really get an opportunity to connect with your classmates and your professors. Uh, you get to build that professional network while you're still a student. We are all about hands-on learning in our state of the art facilities. So if you're the kind of person that learns by doing, we are the place for you. We have career focused programs, which means that we have uh, industry, people from these industries come out and check our curriculum and our facilities to make sure we're up to date. So when you graduate, you're graduating with uh, the ability to do exactly what you need to do at this current moment in your industry. We have great co-op and internship opportunities and research opportunities, even as an undergrad. So you could get your name on a paper, even while working on your bachelor's. 
So some great research we have going on now, we were one of 11 universities globally selected for the US Space Forces Hyperspace Challenge. We worked with L3 Harris Technologies to send 3D printed devices to the International Space Station, received a grant from the National Science Foundation to support the research of binary stars, and my personal favorite, uh, this year we will put the first ever student project on the moon. Uh, we are students that includes undergraduate, graduate, uh, PhD level candidates and professors all working together to create this uh, camera that will land first and capture footage of the lander landing. So just the tip of the iceberg for what we have to offer. Something great about us is uh, while the national average is about 50%, with us, 94.4% of our graduates are either employed or continuing education in their field or getting a master's within a year of graduation. So that goes back to the quality of education that we provide, our reputation in the industries that we offer degrees in, um, and our connections in those industries. So we work very hard to help you get that job. Uh, if you're gonna invest in us, we wanna make sure you get a return on that investment. To apply, we have an online application at erau.edu slash apply. There's a $50 application fee, but because you are here watching this, I'll give you this code DBPC, like Daytona Beach, Prescott, to waive the fee. And then we just need your high school transcripts, which you can submit via mail, email, or electronically through Naviance Parchment or Score. Um, so if you're, we often recommend students apply in the fall of their senior year. So if that's you, time to apply. Optionally, you can also submit test scores. Yes, we're test optional, but if you do well on them, go ahead and submit them because those can help you get higher scholarship amounts. And then things like letters of recommendation, personal essay, and a resume, optional, but encouraged. If you submit these, anything that helps your reviewer, your application reviewer know more about you is uh, going to work in your favor. So please feel free to contact me anytime. Even if I'm not your counselor, I'll point you to the person who is. And thank you guys so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. And a quick reminder that you can use that Q&A function to ask questions of our presenters here at any time. Up next, we have Florida Polytechnic University. All right, thank you. Let me get my screen set up here for you. All right, so good evening, everyone. My name is Chris Moody, and I'm one of the admission counselors here at Florida Polytechnic, Florida Poly. And just wanna spend a few minutes chatting with you tonight about what makes Florida Poly unique, who we are, uh, that kind of stuff. I know my time is relatively limited, uh, so we'll kind of dive right on in. Uh, we are a relatively new school, uh, certainly of the schools here tonight. We are the newest school. We are just in our ninth uh, academic year, uh, but we've really come a long way. So that's why I always kind of like to highlight some of these rankings that even in just uh, nine or 10 short years, uh, we compare real favorably with schools that have been around 50, 100, 150 years. So uh, we definitely are uh, an excellent choice to be looking at if you are interested in STEM uh, school that's 100% focused on STEM and technology and those types of things. Uh, that's going to be us. Uh, you can see right there in the middle that the average class size is right about 20, 21 students. Uh, but what I think is a little bit more meaningful, a little bit more impactful, is that the largest class that we offer here on campus has 48 students. So you're never going to be in any sort of lecture hall or auditorium or theater style seating, anything like that uh, here on our campus. Uh, we really do want to keep things small and personalized. Uh, we are... Uh, we are a relatively small school. We've got right about 1,600 total students here on our campus, and that's really by design. We want you to have that personal hands-on experience. Uh, I didn't mention this, but we are located in Lakeland, Florida, so we're right about halfway between uh, Tampa and Orlando, so a really nice uh, location. Uh, you can see on there that 99% of our students earn an internship. That's really only because we don't require our graduate students, those getting a master's degree, to get an internship. It's actually embedded into all of our different uh, undergraduate deg uh, degree programs for our students to have that internship experience. Uh, so on the screen there, you can see all of the different uh, STEM-related majors that we do offer here. Essentially, the way it works, anything you see that's underlined up there, that would be your four-year Bachelor of Science degree. 
And then if there's bullet points underneath there, that means it's a really broad top topic. So uh, there's a chance for you to really choose one of those areas as uh, your area of concentration. So uh, let's say you're interested in computer science, you could choose game development or cybersecurity or something like that as your area of concentration. As I mentioned, no matter what you choose on that screen, uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have an internship at some point during your time here at Florida Poly. We believe that's every bit as important as what you're learning uh, in the classroom, getting a chance to go out into the real world and practice uh, what you've been uh, learning here on our campus. Speaking of our campus, we definitely are growing. Uh, we're very excited that the building that you see in the bottom right hand corner there is going to uh, be a brand new applied research center and it's actually on track either for the end of March or sometime during April for it to have its uh, grand opening and really be fully finished. It's going to be about a 90,000 square foot facility that's going to pretty much double the amount of lab space, research opportunities, things like that that are available to our students. Uh, so we're super excited to bring this new building on board and all of the opportunities that it'll mean for you as uh, prospective students uh, here at Florida Poly. Another really great thing about Florida Polytechnic is uh, that we are relatively affordable. Uh, so especially compared to the other 12 state universities here across the state, we've got the most affordable uh, in-state tuition, just under $5,000 uh, per year. Uh, we, we don't require you to live on campus, but I think certainly if you come to campus and check out our residence halls, you'll want to live in our uh, on campus housing. So if you do choose to live on campus with your books and everything you're looking at right about 17,000 close to 18,000 before any scholarships or financial aid or anything like that's factored in there. Uh, but certainly lots of opportunities with Florida bright futures certainly take Florida prepaid. And we've got our own merit scholarships. So just by applying to the university, you're going to automatically uh, be eligible uh, for those scholarships that range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars uh, per year all the way to over ten thousand uh, dollars per year. Also, one of the things that we kind of pride ourselves on is, again, of the 12 state uh, public universities here in Florida, we've got the highest average starting salary. So, again, even being a relatively young school, uh, we definitely have really gotten our students able to be successful and uh, succeed in the job market. Uh, so we're excited about that. And then I know my time is relatively limited here, but you can see on the screen, uh, you can go to floridapoly.edu starting August 1st of your senior year, but then we're also on the Common App as well. You can apply either platform, and then you can see the items there that we will be looking at. Uh, the essay for us definitely is important being a small school. We know you're not coming here to be an English major, so don't stress if everything's uh, perfectly uh, punctuated or anything like that. But at the same time, we want to really get to know you and get to know your passion for STEM and things like that. And that's why the letters of recommendation, those aren't required, but they're equally important for us to get a chance to get to know you as well. So uh, with that, I believe I will turn things over to uh, my colleague from uh, and just down the street in uh, at Florida Southern. Thanks so much, Chris, for sharing that information and excited to continue the trend of schools here in Lakeland, Florida. I introduce myself. My name is Joe Madigan. I serve as the Director of Undergraduate Recruitment Outreach at Florida Southern College. I'm excited to share a little bit of general information about Florida Southern College with you here tonight. A little bit of background on Florida Southern College. We actually ranked as one of the top universities in the South by U.S. News and World Report, excited to be number eight in the most recent rankings. And we're a growing school as well. We now have just over 3,000 total students at Florida Southern College that represent really students from all over the globe here, including students from the state of Florida. It's about 60% of our students come from the state of Florida. We are actually Florida's oldest private school, been around since 1883, and within our student body here at Florida Southern College, students will choose to major in a wide variety of different things. We are focused on academics and your learning opportunities. Every major at Florida Southern is a direct admit major, giving you the opportunity to start right away in your coursework in the academic area you're most interested in. 
We have 70 different programs of interest, as well as we have graduate level programs with master's and doctoral degrees and pre-professional tracks such as pre-medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, and veterinary medicine. And all of these are spread across five schools here whether that be our School of Business, so ranked in the top 100 by Forbes Magazine in the world, our direct admit starting right away your first semester, your first year, School of Nursing, Bachelor of Science program, or maybe you're more interested in some of our most popular programs in addition to that, like musical theater, or more you're interested in marine biology or psychology or law, you'll find that at Florida Southern College. Speaking of academic opportunities, we believe in accelerating that education. We offer master's degrees in a format of a four plus one, where you can get your bachelor's and master's degree in business. You can do this in education. You can also do this in psychology in a shorter amount of time, or maybe graduating with a medical degree or dentistry degree, or you're interested in pharmacy or engineering, or maybe you're more interested in marine biology and environmental studies from our partner universities that we partner with here. The core of Florida Southern College is you as a student, our average class size at Florida Southern is about 17 students. We have no class bigger than 40 students on our campus at Florida Southern as we are 100% faculty taught and advised. You're gonna start in your major right away and get to do research right away in your major, participating in programs like the Tiny Earth Network program where students take soil samples, bring them into our state-of-the-art labs and study them from antibiotic cultures that can be cultivated, or maybe getting you out into the Tampa estuary to study crab populations and how climate change is affecting them with our boats and dock in the Tampa estuary. We really believe in that engaged learning and you learning by doing. I'll also share with you, we have a championship winning environment at Florida Southern. We have NCAA Division II athletic programs at Florida Southern, including 20 varsity sports from baseball, basketball, soccer, cross volleyball, track, cross country, just to name a few, as well as championship winning club sports, such as our esports program at Florida Southern that competes collegiately in our arena on campus that just opened this year, the Snake Pit for League of Legends, Rocket League, and Overwatch. You can follow them on Twitch or our playoff bound Florida Southern College men's ice hockey program. We love cheering on our mocks. And that's part of who Florida Southern is, as a community. We're a residential campus, guarantee housing for all four years for our students. In fact, 93% of our students live on campus, taking advantage of our 10 dining options as well. It's dinner time. So love kind of mentioning, we have steak and shake on campus, Starbucks, our fresh and smoothie company, and our brand new public sub shop at Florida Southern. Florida Southern College also is built on the fact that you, we believe that no matter your background, no matter where you come from, you're going to be welcome here. That's our cornerstone or our honor code. We don't have religious requirements, but we want to get you engaged and involved. Find a home on this campus with over 125 different clubs and organizations from Greek life to campus ministries to intramurals to community service. There's something here for everyone. We also believe in giving you three very definitive guarantees. By the time you graduate from Florida Southern, you're going to have the opportunity to have a guaranteed internship, to study abroad. In fact, our study abroad trips are embedded in the cost of the college tuition. And if you do not graduate in four years' time from Florida Southern College, we will cover the cost of your college tuition that it takes you to graduate after the fourth year. And this leads to outcomes. Our outcome rate at Florida Southern students getting gainful employment, going into grad school within six months after graduation is now 97.8%, including 100% acceptance rate in a graduate medical school. And I love to mention across all of our majors, we have 100% placement in 65 plus majors at Florida Southern that include things such as theater, education, social science, and Spanish, not just your sciences and engineering type STEM programs there, but across the board. We really believe in making a consequential impact in a student's life, and the first step to that is to apply. It's free to apply for admission to Florida Southern College. If you're looking at schools here in Florida, you can find us on the Common Application, the Coalition Application, and our own online application. We review applications holistically, and we are test optional likewise. If you're going to qualify for Bright Futures tonight, just as a note, I encourage you to apply with your test scores to Florida Southern College. We also will look at an essay to get to know you, see if you're a good fit for Florida Southern, and also look at a letter of recommendation. Each year, we admit about 60% of the students who apply and offer scholarships. At the same time you're reviewed for admission, we stack Bright Futures, Florida Prepaid, and any aid on top of that.
I'd love to continue the conversation tonight. And as I finish up here, I encourage you to remember three things. F for FSC stands for Fantastic Academics. S stands for support services that we offer here at Florida Southern. C stands for community, and that's who FSC is. You can use this QR code. Just connect with me, and I'd love to have further conversation or welcome you to campus for a visit as we are open for tours and have our upcoming open house on April 9th. I'm going to turn it over back to Jenny here to introduce our next presenter. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And remember that that Q&A is still open if you'd like to ask questions of any of our presenters here at any time. Up next is the Florida Institute of Technology. Hello, everybody. My name is Jesse. I work with students from South Florida. Florida Tech, we were founded in 1958 by a group of scientists and engineers from NASA. We have around 3,500 undergrad students and 2,000 students are working toward their master's or their PhD. You will be required to live on campus for the first two years, but you also allowed to have a car here as a freshman, which is very unique. And something unique about Florida Tech is that you actually start in your major from your first semester. We offered over 187 degrees that include bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degree programs. We also offered a program where you can get your bachelor's and your master's in five years instead of six. And if you're part of that program, you're gonna be exempt from the GRE. That's the test you have to take to go to grad school. We offer four colleges, aviation, if you wanna be a pilot, business, engineering, and psychology. What you see there is the Telescope Ortega. It's one of the largest research telescopes in the state of Florida. You can do any of the majors that you see in the screen. As a major, you can also do it as a minor. The airport is 2.5 miles away from the university. Business is the fastest growing college at FIT. Any of the degrees here, again, you can do them as a bachelor's or you can do them as a master's. You can also double major in all the fields that we offer. Engineering, 50% of our students are engineers. Aerospace engineering is the most popular field of studies at FIT to this day. As I mentioned before, we were founded by a group of scientists and engineers for NASA, and to this day is really who we are. Science, 25% of our students are part of the College of Science, and you can do very specific majors here like astrobiology, astronomy, astrophysics, but also pre-med if you're interested in going to medical school. You're gonna see that we have some tracks that are gonna be pre-med uh, chemistry, pre-med physics, pre-med biology, and that's really just to get you ready to go into medical school. We also have one of the largest research centers for autism in the state of Florida is here. Even though a lot of people don't know about that, we also offer forensic psychology. We're the only university that offer forensic psychology as an undergrad degree in the state of Florida. This is just a really an average of our students' uh, profile. Last year, we received 11,000 applications. We admitted about 60% of those students. Our average student has a 3.9 weighted GPA, SAT and ACT. We're gonna super score both of those tests. To this day, we still require a test. We're not a test optional school, but those are the scores that we're looking for. And we also gonna um, super score both of those tests. We give merit scholarships and they're gonna be based on GPA and test scores. We are a private institution, but we are going to take Bright Futures. And if you qualify for Bright Futures, we have a special scholarship, but we're going to select the best students that qualify for the highest bracket of Bright Futures, and we are going to give them full tuition here at Florida Tech. As I mentioned at the beginning, you will be required to live on campus for the first two years. So a lot of our students, there's always activities going on. 20% of our students are international students. We have over 100 clubs and organizations here on campus. We also have Division II NCAA school. We operate on rolling admission. We do not have a deadline for applications. You can apply at any time at the end of your junior year when you feel confident with your test scores, feel free to apply. We are also part of the Common App, and we also have our own application. It's really a matter of preference. You can use either or. They're both free. All we require is one letter of recommendations, transcripts, test scores, and an essay of 250 words. A week after you get your admission letter, you usually will receive information in reference to your merit scholarship. 
And like I mentioned, you're gonna have direct admission into your major. So for us, it's really important the kind of science and math you took in high school if you're considering to go into engineering or math. We wanna see students that have taken physics, chemistry, biology, and pre-calculus. We are gonna be traveling all over the state. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I will put my contact information on the chat, but also I will get you connected to your admission counselor. Thank you so much. Thank you, I appreciate it. Up next, we have Lynn University. Thank you so much, Jenny. Hi everyone, my name is Rose. I'm your admission counselor. I work with students specifically with the Palm Beach and Orlando areas, and I'm excited to talk to you a little bit about Lynn. Um, Lynn University was founded in 1962, and some things that I love to share with my students for them to take away home is that we're an Apple distinguished school. We're a private university, um, but we are a very affordable university. I have lots of my local students that just pay a couple thousand a year to attend, especially those that are bright and rock stars that I know this room is full of. Um, as far as, you know, things that help us stand apart from other institutions, we're a sustainable campus. We made a commitment to be able to remove the use of plastic water bottles, and you'll see that all throughout our campus and when you come to visit us for a tour, etc. Um, most Actually, 90% of our textbooks are all purchased online. They're through our Apple News and our faculty will publish through there. But we do follow the sustainable development goals and try our best to be able to emulate that model of, of reusing those resources and being able to um, uphold our commitment to maintaining their earth. In addition to that, we are located in Boca Raton, Florida. So we like to say we have the best of both worlds. Uh, we're about four miles away from the beach. We're about 25 minutes from Fort Lauderdale and about 15 minutes from Miami. Um, I'm really exciting to see you know, the growth that Boca Raton is experiencing. We have a little bit of everything what I like to say. Oops, sorry. All right, for those that haven't been on campus yet, some of the things that you'll see when you come to campus is just our commitment to diversity. Uh, US World's News has ranked us number 55 for best value. Our average profile of our students about 3.5 GPA. We're known as being number four for students that graduate with the least amount of debt. And what's uh, wonderful about the university is our commitment to diversity. So in our flag over here in the middle, you'll see over 100 countries represented. We're about 17% international students. And most of our students are coming out of state. So we have about 35% that are local students and the rest are either out of state or international. Again, like I mentioned, mentioned, we are an Apple Distinguished School. As all of our students in our program, we're going to receive an iPad and use iPad um, learning environment in our ecosystem. All of our students are going to be instructed through, will be through our Apple News. Um, in addition, we have several colleges at the university. We have over six different colleges. Um, and there are a couple points that I want you to you know, take in mind when you're looking into the different majors that we offer. Over 100 degree programs that we do offer for those types of students that are looking into whether it's aviation, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's data analytics, whether it's um, a conservatory of music, we really offer a little bit of everything. And so when we're working with our students, we're highly recommending them to be able to apply to the university, to connect with us, to be able to do your research, talk to our faculty, take a tour on campus, be able to meet with me, your admission counselor, um, and also you know complete your doc Documents. We're going to help all of our students, no matter where you are, we'll meet you in the middle. And that includes, you know, being able to meet with us on an individual basis, whether it's an update on your status, we'll help you provide that personalized attention that lots of students are looking for. Um, one of my favorite things, too, is our small intimate classroom setting. We're about 17 students to a professor. And you'll see that when you come to campus, even your tour will be just for you and your family. Um, and in addition to completing your documents, we are test optional. So that's one thing that helps our students. We know that standardized tests are not necessarily the best way to evaluate a student. So we really leave that up to you as far as whether you want it to, con to consider it or not. Again, all my local students that are uh, applying for Boulder Freight teachers, we definitely want you to submit those documents um, to be able to be eligible since we do accept the Florida Academic Scholars Program as well as the Florida Medallion. Um, and then in addition to completing your application with your documents, we do have an up 
updated um, decision that's going to be provided to our students within five to seven business days. I try my best to be able to provide a quick turnaround on all my students. Um, but then coming to campus and visiting us uh, is another great step to be able to feel comfortable, understand whether you could see yourself for the next four years. So those are just a couple points that I like to have my students take away with. Um, and here's the instructions on how to apply. Our next open house is going to pay, take place on Saturday, March 19th. So hopefully you'll be able to come by then. If you want to stay connected with me again, you're welcome to take a picture of the QR code. I'll also include my information in the chat and that way we can follow up with you with any questions that you have. Um, one other thing that stands us apart from other schools is our block schedule. So this is basically mirroring a lot of doctoral graduate programs where students are focusing on one to two courses at a time. So they're not having to suffer from memory degeneration and having to cram over five different subjects. So over the next um, you know, semester basis, when you're used to taking five to six classes, August to December, you're only taking one to two courses per month. Um, so your typical block schedule is listed here, Monday to Thursday, you'll have a session at eight to 10, 10 uh, 12 to two, three to five and six to eight. So that really helps the student be able to have more flexibility, more attention to the, to the area that they're interested in and be able to have time to whether it's participate in internships, work studies, et cetera. Um, and then a lot of you um, aren't aware, but we do have three plus one year programs. So if you, for those students that are interested in biology, want to accelerate their career, go on to med school, PA school, doctoral school, et cetera, we do offer that accelerated program and you can complete your one year master's degree um, on us. So I'll include all my information, but I just wanted to thank you all for the time today. Thank you so much. And as we're getting to our last presenter, uh, don't forget that you can use that Q&A function to ask questions of any of our presenters here at any time, and they'll be checking that Q&A and responding to you as well. Up next, we have the University of Alabama. Good evening, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Benet Bondi. I'm the Central Florida Regional Recruiter with Alabama. I have a pretty cool gig. I live in Central Florida, so as a local representative, I'm here to answer any questions you have about UA. I'm gonna go ahead and get started by sharing my screen with you. So a little bit of information about the University of Alabama. We are a fairly large public research institution, about 38,000 students. Some unique things that I like to stress is um, about 90% of our students are undergraduate. So a very traditional experience at UA, even though we offer bachelor's, master's and doctoral programs, our main focus is the undergraduate experience. Another unique aspect is over 60% of our students are from out of state. So kind of the best of both worlds. Um, Florida is extremely popular for us. It's our fourth largest state for out-of-state recruitment. So we get a lot of students from the area. So a lot of resources on our campus for out-of-state students. Class sizes are going to run a variety. You're going to have big classes, small classes, somewhere in between. But also your average student-teacher ratio is very doable. Um, it's still about 23 to 1. We're located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I refer to it as close, but not too close. Uh, about anywhere from nine to 10 hours for most of my students, kind of in the central western part of the state of Alabama. If you like like the college oriented town with a big city close by, it'd be a great, great fit for you. Tuscaloosa is about 100,000 residents, right off campus, a lot of clubs, restaurants, one of the Black Warrior River, if you like a lot of outdoorsy things. On campus as well, we have over 600 clubs and organizations for you to choose from. So a lot for everybody, everything from academic clubs, community service organizations, professional associations, religious organizations, Greek life is also pretty big on our campus. About 30% of our students get involved in sororities or fraternities. We typically have the top 10 Greek communities in the nation. What I also love on this slide, uh, one of my favorite unique statistics, our students did over 1 million hours of community service last year just alone. So if you're interested in community service, we'd also be a great fit for you. And probably number one question I get is also on the slide, how's the food and do you have Chick-fil-A? Those are pretty popular questions. Uh, we have uh, three major dining uh, facilities on our campus. Everything's cafe style. You can pick and choose whatever you want to eat. Have the healthy and not so healthy. 
Probably if you're also addicted to caramel uh, pumpkin spice lattes like I am, probably have the one of the largest Starbucks you've ever seen on a college campus. So again, a lot for everybody. We really like to stress the holistic experience at Alabama. A lot of people do know us from our athletic tradition. We have big D1, SEC sports, pretty good football team at Alabama. So if you like our athletic tradition, that's awesome. Also have a great academic reputation that coincides with that. For the last 10 years, Alabama was ranked within the top 100 public universities in the nation. Um, we also have over 12 colleges um, at UA with over 200 academic programs and over 80 majors. So um, most popular things are things like arts and sciences, business, communications, engineering, the pre-professional fields. Those are just to name a few off the top of my head. We also have some unique programs, a great honors college, new college where you can design your own major. And we also like to stress internship opportunities. Um, right now we're number two overall in the country for internship opportunities. So we highly encourage an internship experience at UA. Um, missions and uh, experience. Um, right now we're test optional for this year. So a variety of options for you, the application process. Um, we also, this is the first year we're on the common application. So you can either submit our, our standardized University of Alabama application or the common app. General timeline is usually our online applications up July, August, the summer between the junior and senior year. We operate on rolling admissions and we typically start reviewing applications around Labor Day. So beginning then we'll start reviewing on a, ro a rolling weekly basis from that point forward. Um, we do do not permit um, students to self-report. So we do need to receive all of your official documents. If you decide to apply test optional, we need one of the applications, application fee and official high school transcripts. You can also make the decision if you'd like to apply with test scores. If so, we would need all that information plus additional SAT or ACT scores for you. Key with Alabama is even though we're rolling admissions, we highly encourage you to apply pretty early. Most of our students apply August to October, the latest of your senior year, so they can still receive scholarship consideration. Our scholarship deadline is January 15th. So if you receive competitive scholarships, you must be admitted prior to that date. So we encourage you to start the process early. We also have great competitive as well as automatic merit-based scholarships. Competitive scholarships and we're on the holistic review, academic and non-academic criteria we're gonna evaluate. They range anywhere from everything from $8,000 up to out-of-state tuition. We also have our great automatic merit-based scholarships, which do require you to submit test scores. They range anywhere between $6,000 up to $28,000 per year. Uh, we really stress return on investment. This is just kind of a sample of where our, our, some of our graduates are going. Um, but 95, about 90 to 91% of our students require a satisfactory job experience six months after graduation. 65% will go in the workforce, as well as um, about, um, sorry, that was my timer. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, on mute, sorry, <laughs> my apologies. Um, but also about 30% will go into grad school. I highly encourage you to experience Alabama for yourself. Um, we have great visit experiences. We have everything from in-depth visits to open house experiences. Um, I personally provide my, prefer my students to do an in-depth visit, really personalized half day, full day visit experience on our campus. If you also wanna scan the QR code here, you can do so on the bottom of our screen to take our 360 virtual tour. But if you're interested in visiting campus, please let me know and I'd be happy to arrange a nice visit for you. Here's my contact information. Feel free to contact me, email me, reach out directly. That's my direct cell phone. I'm also available for Thai chats or since I live in the area, be happy to answer any questions you have moving forward. Thanks so much for your time and have a great night. Roll Tide. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of our presenters here today. We really appreciate you taking the time um, to let our participants know more about your schools. So now I'll invite everyone back on camera here and we'll go through a little bit of a Q&A. We'll go in the same order that you presented in. And our first question for the evening is, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? So we'll start again with Embry-Riddle and go around. Um, okay, uh, hi everyone again. So uh, you're gonna get a lot of great advice and there's so much to give. So I'll just keep it simple. Um, I would say to apply early and widely so you can weigh all your options and have time to uh, apply, to do things like apply for scholarships. And when it comes to scholarships, do that and do it a lot. The only thing it costs you is time and every little bit counts. My biggest advice would be to take the opportunity to go visit as many schools as you can. That uh, I think that's a really big help, uh, really good opportunity. Hopefully you fall in love with the school, but if you go on a school and don't fall in love, that's gonna be every bit as beneficial. You'll learn if you want a bigger school, a smaller school, 
more rural, bigger city, whatever it might be. So take some time and go on some college visits. All good information. And I'll share another one. My biggest piece of advice is no matter if you think you're eligible or not, is to complete and submit the FAFSA. Last year, we just got data back that said $194 million was left on the table in federal financial aid by families not completing and submitting the FAFSA. Do it. No matter what anybody tells you, go ahead and complete it. Even if it's the first time you've ever done it, you never know what you're going to be eligible for. Making any of our schools here tonight a more affordable option by completing and submitting the FAFSA. I always tell students, don't let the tag of a price determine where do you apply to school. I always tell that to students because I feel sometimes that price tag really gets them afraid. And you really do yourself a disservice because you don't know. Unless you submit that application, you always gonna question yourself. You know, so I always tell students, give yourself the benefits, start early, do your research, you know, but if you're able to, if there is no cost associated, especially with an application, if that's where you see yourself, that's where you want to go, don't sell yourself short. I would say to take advantage of as many information sessions, opportunity to connect with your counselor, faculty members. There's so many alumni that have graduated and are successful that you can look up on LinkedIn, follow their trajectories, and be able to get advice as far as the future that you're looking to pursue. So we're all very personal and eager to help you, and we love connecting with you. Always so hard going last. Of all those things, I would definitely sentiment um, great advice from everybody. Um, obviously, connect with your counselors, as she mentioned. That's what I was going to say. Um, take advantage of meeting us at college fairs or visits. Um, also, do things early. Visit campus. And parents, I want to talk to you as well. Make sure your students are taking an active role in the process and that you're all both on the same page as a family. Because I want to make sure, I mean, we're going through this right now with this year's seniors. You definitely want to make sure that you've done your research, but that you're all touching base on a regular basis and making sure this is a family decision, um, both from a heart and a head decision. So, Absolutely. Thank you so much, all of you, for that great advice. Um, we have time for a really quick round robin. So our, our last question will be, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? So you can give us something quick to, to leave everyone by. Um, I would say that the thing to remember, it's hard for me to be concise, but <laughs> is that we invest in you. So whether it's our career placement, industry approved and accredited programs, or the opportunities we foster for research and entrepreneurship, we invest in you and cultivate opportunities for your success. Um, so all you need to do is apply to start your future with us. Being an all STEM university, one thing that we want to do is be a little bit unique. So we're the first and I believe still the only uh, school in the country that has a 100% digital library. So uh, we try and keep things uh, state of the art and kind of hands on for you. So uh, that would be kind of my message for you about Florida Poly. Uh, one thing that I say that's unique about Florida Southern, we're about 99% or plus of our students receive financial aid. This year we're meeting about 87% of our students who've applied 100% of their financial need. A lot of times you think that a private university is not affordable. There are many schools that need so much of the percentage of the need that's out there. And Florida Southern College does this in the form of merit scholarships plus the staffing opportunities that's there. So again, never discount away from the opportunities you're going to see at a private university, especially if you want those direct admit opportunities. Thank you. Everybody has mentioned here. One thing that I feel is very unique about Florida Tech is that you actually starting to meet you from your first semester. So if you know what you're passionate about it, you're going to meet people that really want to do the same thing that you are, that love what you do. So take the time to, you know, to visit and to get to know us. I would say, you know, look at the university and see how innovative it is, whether it's being one of the first schools to be able to implement the iPad initiative, whether it's our block schedule that help our students accelerate and be able to move forward in their classes and complete the program in an accelerated manner, or whether it's just looking at the sustainability that we have on campus and the diversity that we offer our students. Those are just the top things that I think of when you're looking at Land University. I would stress that Alabama is more than just an academic experience. So definitely, I like to stress our holistic opportunities, whether it be a co-op, internship experience, research, study abroad, you name it, we have it. 
And the other thing is we have a lot of great resources for out-of-state students. I don't know how many times I told you this tonight, but 60% of our students from out-of-state, which is really unique for a public university. And that's like something that I like to stress that you might be coming out of state, but we have a lot of great resources for you available on our campus as well. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of our schools here today. Um, and thank you for joining us for this um, presentation. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick five question survey. So we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide. Um, and we encourage you to check back to the schedule and sign up for more sessions. You'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other session recordings at strivescan.com slash Central Florida. Thank you so much and have a great evening.